Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In tonight's 8 p.m. Coronation Street episode, Nick Tilsley is ready to call Lean regarding Toya's illness. See the complete listings in our TV guide. Lean's family and friends are becoming more and more estranged from her as Rowan tells her that putting her own needs first and stepping away from Toya's operation is the correct thing to do. Nick Tilsley is by Toya's side in the hospital, horrified that Lean would do that to her sister. Lean is thrilled when Amy informs her that she wants to use her inheritance to fund the new resource center, but she needs Ken's approval first. Nick is told by the medical consultant that Toya has experienced issues and that she must arrive as soon as possible. Nick braces himself to call Lean. Is Lean going to visit her sister? Amy is questioned by Adi about her intentions to invest in the Institute and she is cautioned not to gamble with Deirdre's money until she is absolutely certain. Will she admit to Rowan that she's changing her mind? Steve invites Cassie to a classical music concert in the park that evening. When Steve tells Cassie that she's going with Ken because he has a hot date with Demi, how will she respond? She arrives looking flawless. Kit realizes that moving into Glinda's former room at the Rivers will be beneficial as it is a hub for rumors. What plans does he have? In another scene, Paul expresses his obvious disappointment when Kit declines to join them for a family meal. When fans of Corey noticed what seemed to be Craig Tinker's twin, they couldn't take their eyes off the screen. Actor Colson Smith plays Craig, who has been a regular on the street since his early 2011 debut. Viewers have also seen him go from a youngster to a committed police officer, all while enduring heartbreak this year and exhibiting an amazing personal metamorphosis. But it was during Monday night's performance that fans went into a frenzy when a new face appeared in Witherfield. The person's similarity to the beloved Craig was so remarkable that many fans believe they must be related. Roy Cropper was admitted to the hospital following a heart attack, and the talk of the town revolved on a nurse. Lauren Bolton, who was thought to be dead after going missing in February, made an unexpected reappearance in the meantime. According to the Express, Roy confided in his niece Nina Lucas about seeing Lauren, but at first, she rejected the notion, insisting that Lauren had already passed away. However, the male nurse shockingly revealed to Nina and Dee Dee, Shanique Sterling Brown, in the suspenseful Monday episode, July 15, that Roy's other blonde niece had also been paying him a visit. A wave of double takes was caused by the audience's conversation over the nurse's striking resemblance to Corey's own Craig. Is that male nurse Craig's twin? A viewer cried out on X, the former Twitter, I thought that nurse was Craig's brother at first, exclaimed a different fan. A third person said, had to do a double take, thought Craig was a nurse. Is that male nurse going to turn out to be Craig's long lost brother? Inquired a startled admirer. Is the doctor Craig's twin separated at birth? Wondered someone else. A fifth admirer spoke, asking, that nurse seaside Tinker's long lost brother. Star of Coronation Street, Kate Fitton posted pictures of herself looking gorgeous on the beach in between the terrifying plots of her soap opera characters. The 22-year-old actress Lauren Bolton looked stunning as she posed right before the festive sunset. Although we don't know the soap star's exact location, the gorgeous surroundings lead us to believe that she is far from here. The posts were simply titled Ocean Lover by Kate. Her Corey co-stars expressed their enthusiasm for her tweet, with actress Samia Longshambin calling it Dylan beautiful. Wilson's actor Liam McKean. Fortunately for Kate, who seems to be enjoying herself immensely, her soap character Lauren hasn't had the best of months. When Lauren visited Roy Cropper in the hospital on a recent episode of the ITV soap opera, her fate was revealed. We were told in May that Lauren had been attacked by Joel which is why she died. But later on, 
We found out that Lauren had been living on the streets after leaving the apartment. We also got to hear more about Joel and Lauren's relationship during their confrontation in the hospital. After they first met in September of last year, Joel would frequently give Lauren money to buy food in exchange for having sex with her. Lauren was attacked by the evil solicitor in February when she attempted to confront Joel and brought up the possibility that Dee Dee Bailey would learn the truth. She was struck with a chair leg. Obviously, when you go through any sort of trauma, us as human beings like to put it into the back of our minds and hope it goes away and distract ourselves. But it's always there. It's never going to go away. Kate said in response to a question about her current plot. With Lauren, she thinks she can kind of move on and put it behind her, but you can't rush that process. Similar like grief, you have to experience it as it arises and not try to speed through it. Since leaving Weatherfield, she has been escaping from hostel to hostel, sleeping on the streets, being kicked out of several hostels due to her inability to pay the rent. She must now obviously consider further safety measures. Samia Longshambin, a cast member of Coronation Street, was spotted showing her affection for her co-star on a momentous occasion. On his birthday, the actress publicly thanked Alan Halsall on social media. The actor, well known for his role as Tyrone Dobbs, was commemorating becoming 42 years old. Viewers of the ITV soap opera may remember Alan from his November 1998 debut, which took place 26 years ago. In his initial scenes, he played Kirby's Dreamland when Jackie Dobbs, his presumed mother, visited Deirdre Barlow, her cellmate in Redford Prison. The rest is history, as they say. Alan's lengthy run on the popular show has allowed him to form many strong friendships, though so his co-workers were eager to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, said Andy Wyman, who plays Kirk Sutherland in Weatherfield, on his Instagram story beside a selfie of the two. Have a great day, my friend. The actress Claire Sweeney, who plays Cassie Plummer on screen, also posted a picture to her Instagram story, wishing her darling boy a happy birthday. Samia, who plays Corey's Maria Windes, posted a picture of herself, Alan and Andy, along with the caption, happy birthday to the one and only Alan replied, love this pic, have a mega day, love ya, and reshared the picture. On Sunday, Samia also posted happy pictures of herself on her official Instagram page. She looked stunning in a summery white dress and enjoyed a little tree hugging in her garden. She also added, the trees in my garden give great hugs. Alongside the message she made in response to her 449,000 followers, Sally Carmen Dunn, a co-star on Corey, replied right away, adding, so gorgeous. Sophie Austin, a former soap opera star, also responded, beautiful. Another comment from her admirers and followers was from, who said, oh wow, you look amazing. I say, lucky tree. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.